Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to Way Back When Wednesday. And today we're going back to 1945. And the pictures is my mom's uncle and his wife, and their five kids. And they're going to have another boy later on that year, but um, yeah, they don't have him yet. So he's not in the picture. And I am cutting a circle, and you can tell I did not do it very well. It slipped a little bit. I told myself to use some washi tape, but I didn't. I didn't listen to myself at all. But it turned out all right. I trimmed it up, and it was fine. Uh, that place there, I guess I was worried about. But I don't guess I was too worried about it because I kept going. I am going to stitch around this, and I'm going to use like a teal-colored uh, thread. And there's flowers on that paper that's that color is why I picked it. And I'm also going to pull some cardstock out to match that peachy orange color that's on there. And my cardstock matches it pretty good, but I didn't like it. So I punched out a few butterflies in it, and they don't go on the page. Well, they do for a little while, but they don't stay. And if you're wondering why I could be so positive on my information about this picture, I talked to that littlest girl there in the pigtails um, on the phone the day I made this layout. She was getting out of the hospital. She had fell and broke her hip and her uh, femur bone. And, uh, yeah, she'd been in there about a week and had surgery and everything. But I texted to her and... Uh, she didn't have this picture, <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, no, no, she had this one, she did not have the other one I texted her, that's right, and the funny thing is, I texted the other one to her, and she turned around and texted it to one of her cousins that lives in Arkansas, she lives in Chicago, and she texted it to him, and then he calls me to thank me for the picture because he didn't have it. Uh, that was so funny that I didn't even send it to him and I was getting a thank you. But I have strict instructions now that I have to send it to those two and his sister that lives in town with me. I could take them on over to her and go ahead and just give her copies and she wouldn't have to print them out after she got them. But uh, yeah, the, she was she enjoyed reminiscing about this being in the hospital, nothing else to do. I'm sure that was a highlight of her day. Well, she's supposed to get out later in the afternoon. I'm using two of my border punches now. I'm not sure what the name of that one is, but the other one's a laurel leaf because I, I learned that one recently. And I'm going to end up messing up right here. And I could tell I did. I stopped right where I was at because, I oh, no, I pushed too quick and I wasn't lined up so I'm just flipping it around and I was checking to see if that part right there where I'd already trimmed off of would be long enough to go there and it was so I just went to that end and thought I'd save the longer end on the other side um, I am going to trim that uh, off at the edge of that I thought about letting it go on out but then I thought, no, I think I'll just trim it off right there. And I also thought about getting a bow and putting it on the middle. But then I thought, nah, I like it the way it is. Now, by the time I was born, all of these kids had kids. And, uh, yeah, I, they were my playmates growing up. We would have get-togethers at their house. And I grew up thinking you had to have music at the get-togethers because a couple of those boys had guitars and they were always playing music and singing and talking all the kids into singing so yeah we'd have a good old time when we would all get together and the food was good too and you know my mom her idea of tea was instant tea with lemon and I didn't care a whole lot for it but if I went to one of their get-togethers and they made regular tea, iced tea, oh, I thought that was the best stuff in the world. But yeah, we'd have a lot of fun together because there were so many kids. My family, there was five, and two of those boys had eight kids. The other one had four, and 
the girls, one had four and one had three. So, yeah, there was plenty of kids there when we would do things. And those two on the left, no, I'm telling you wrong. <laughs> the ones on the each end, they married sisters. So those kids like to brag that they were double cousins. I thought that was the neatest thing when I was growing up, that they could be double cousins and nobody else I knew were. Now, take a look at this picture. <laughs> In my opinion, there was either somebody sitting down taking the picture or they were pretty short because everybody's looking down in the picture. And I think that's partly why it's so shadowed. I had to work on this to get faces on the two on the farthest right. The sun was shining on their face so bad it was a glare. But I did the shine reduction thing and they magically appeared. I was so glad for that. I tried do an exposure less, but then the other uh, two on the end got really dark where you couldn't tell them at all who they were. And then I finally thought, well, I'm going to try the shine reduction thing because it's sunshine on their face. And I do a little spot at a time, and it all appeared. I could not believe it. Uh, I'm going to have to remember that for the next time because there are more like that. I know back then, well... When I was little, my mom's camera did not have a flash. So you had to go outside to take pictures. And I do know at the time this picture was taken, none of those in the picture had a camera. Somebody would have to come over with their camera and then take the family picture. And Oh, and you all noticed none of them smiled. They never smiled in these pictures. And they had some pretty good smiles. And also... <laughs> By the time these boys were actually grown, the one on the right had outgrown the one on the second from the left. And both of those are his older brothers. But yeah, he ended up outgrowing him. He didn't outgrow the other one, though. They were about the same height. I, w I wouldn't be able to tell you which one was tallest. But yeah, they were about the same. And here I'm going to play with my butterfly punch some more. That butterfly punch and me have a love-hate relationship. Yeah, I'm used to being able to flip it over and look and see where my paper's at and what I'm actually punching. But you flip that over and it don't help a bit. It does have three punches on there. And I'm going to use all three, but I'm only going to do two layers on the butterflies. But see how that color matches the color that's in the flowered paper? It, it's just a, you know, a little bit darker. It's shade darker, but it's a lot like the same color. But I'm not going to like it, so it's not going to be on there. That butterfly is going to go to the side, and I am not sure where it's going to end up at because I think I only actually assembled one of them. But I am putting the uh, liquid glue in the middle of the butterfly and then popping the wings up with uh, foam tape on each side. I hadn't decided exactly where I wanted those butterflies, so I thought, well, I'm going to stop and do my title. And it's just going to say the Joiner family. And these are capital letters. So I was able to <laughs> go ahead and use my tile ones for the word the and then do the Joiner family with the capital letters. And I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking I'm done once I get these butterflies down and the picture down. The picture I'm going to put on foam tape. But I was thinking I was done when I did that, and I thought, no, it needs something else. It needs just a little bit more. So I'm going to do some fussy cutting of those flowers. And you've seen me punch all over that paper. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to find some flowers that I can fussy cut and put around the page, even after using that punch and punching the paper so much. I guess I could tell you what the paper is. The paper is Miss Caroline. And I'm thinking that's my mind's eye. I'm not 100% sure. But it went, the zip strip thing went in the trash. And then the background paper is the ledger. And it's one and two. And I'm not sure if this was one or two. But number one is still available. I seen it on scrapbook.com when I was ordering the gift card for my 1,000 subby winner. And... 
uh, yeah, it's it's on there. I don't I don't know why it popped up there, <laughs> but it did, and I thought, wow, it's on sale too. And the other thing is, my pad is dated 2011, so it has been around a while, and Scrapbook.com still has it. And of course, I used the Tim Holtz film strip up there on that little banner. And I put 1945 there. And once, it's kind of curled because I only stapled the one in. But that'll be fine because once I put it in the page protector, it'll lay down like it's supposed to. And when it lays down, the numbers 1945 fit in there pretty good. And the 9 and the 4 is together and the 1 and the 5 separate. But yeah, it'll fit pretty good and look pretty decent behind the page protector. I'm putting little teeny tiny pieces of foam tape behind these flowers. None of these were very big. I think the biggest one was the one up there by the 1945. But yeah, I feel lucky that I got as many as I did out of those scraps of paper. But yeah, foam tape behind all of them except the one by the 1945. And that's it, I think, except for the uh, flat back pearls and they're going to be brown and they're really pretty they come from close to my heart and there's like three different sizes so i'm going to scatter them around just like i would enamel dots only they're pearls and they look really pretty they had they had another color on that piece of paper that was a little bit lighter i believe it was and there wasn't enough for three clusters, so I used the dark brown instead because I wanted it to go on the three clusters. But yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And I will be showing you my area that I am going to journal and put their names. And I slowly made it smaller and smaller by, see it right there? Yeah, by embellishing. So it's not a very big place, but I got plenty of room on the back to write, and it is white on the back. So, yeah, I can write some more stuff on the back. And now there's my butterflies. And the, I've put two different ones on top. The ones that's on bottom are all the same, but the ones on top were different ones. And some had more holes than others because, like I said, it's a three-punch butterfly punch. And I have a heart one, and we have a love-hate relationship, too. Because I think it's the operator. I don't think it's the punch. I think it's me. But if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. If you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. But thank you all so much for joining me today for Way Back When Wednesday. And I hope you have a happy scrappy week. Bye.